Everybody, uh, this lesson is multiply by one digit number. So this is our sixth lesson in chapter five, okay, or chapter or in fifth grade, sorry. There's our common core strand, and this is chapter one, actually. So in our, our question is, how do we multiply by a one digit number? So we have a couple of examples here. So here's nine families from Sacramento are heading to the Shakespeare Festival in Ashland, Oregon. The trip is 293 miles. How many total miles will all nine families uh, drive? So what we're going to do is multiply 293 times this 9 right here. So the 9 is our one digit number. So we're going to use place value and regrouping in this lesson right here. So let's first get an estimate, you guys. 293 is close to 300. So 300 times 9. If we go ahead and multiply 3 times 9, 3 times 9 is 27. So add these two zeros right here, it's 2,700 right there. So our, our answer should be close to 2,700. All right, let's go ahead and first multiply the 1. So uh, 9 times 3, 1. So 9 times 3 is 27, so that's going to give us 27 ones. Okay, 27 ones is the same as 2 tens and 7 ones right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the ones and the regrouped tens. So two tens and seven ones we're going to put the seven ones right down here and we're going to regroup uh, the tens the two right there for the two tens okay so it's just a carry up over there so uh, let's slide that up right there and so um, uh, now we're going to multiply the tens okay so this nine times nine so nine times nine tens is going to get us 81 tens okay 81 tens is the same as one ten uh, and eight hundreds or eight hundreds and one ten right there. That's what eighty one tens is right there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, add the regrouped tens on top. So we're going to add this two tens on top. So eighty one plus two is going to get us a total of eighty three tens. Because remember we had this carried over tens from the uh, the, for the first product. Okay, so eighty three tens is the same as um, um, uh, three tens and eight hundreds right there. So we are going to write the tens and the regrouped hundreds. So we're going to put the three down here for the three tens and the eight right there for the eight hundreds right there. Okay, so there's that right there. Okay, slide that up. I guess not. I won't slide it up yet. All right, now we're going to multiply the hundreds right here. Okay, so we're going to multiply this nine uh, times two hundreds. I think I'm sliding this up. Yeah. All right, so um, uh, 9 times 200, well, 9 times 2 is 18. That's going to get us 1,800 right there. Okay, so 1,800 is the same as 800 and then 1,000 right there. Okay, so we're going to add the uh, regrouped hundreds right here. So 1,800 plus this 800. Don't forget, we got the regrouped numbers that we're going to add up there. So 1,800 plus the 800 is going to get us 2,600. Okay, so then we're just going to write the hundreds because we don't have any more multiplying. There's no more, you know, we don't have a thousands right here. So we're going to go ahead and write the 26 right there. Okay, so uh, so all nine families drove a total of 2,637 miles from Sacramento to Ashland, Oregon. Okay, so how can we tell if this answer is reasonable? Well, remember when we did our first estimate, you guys, our estimate was 2,700, and since 2,637 is close to our estimate, then our answer is going to be reasonable. All right, let's try this again. Let's multiply 1,978 times 7. Okay, well, let's go ahead and estimate, you guys. Okay, 1,978 is close to 2,000. Okay, so then we just multiply 2 times 7. Well, 2 times 7 gets us 14, and then add these three zeros right here, so 14,000 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this product. Multiply the 1, so 7 times 8, 1. 7 times 8 is 56. Okay, and if you're having trouble with that, just think of half of 8 is 4. 7 times 4 is 28, and then since uh, uh, 8 is double that, we double 28, and you should get 56. Okay, so we get 56 ones right there, okay? So 56 ones is the same as 6 ones and 5 tens. So we're going to go ahead and uh, write the ones down here, the 6 ones, and put the regrouped tens up here. Here's our 5 tens. Okay, now let's multiply the tens through now, okay? So now we're going to multiply the tens. 7 times 7 tens is going to get us 49 tens. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add the regrouped tens up on top right here. So 49 plus 5 is going to get us um, uh, 54 tens. So we're going to go ahead and write uh, 54 tens as 4 tens and 5 hundreds. So we'll put the 4 tens down here and the 5 hundreds right up there above the 9 hundreds. 
Okay, so right the tens and the regrouped hundreds up there. Okay, all right, let's slide that up right there. Okay, now we're going to multiply the hundreds. Okay, so seven times nine. Seven times nine is 63. Okay, so 63 hundreds. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and add the regrouped hundreds up on top. So 63 hundreds plus this five right here is going to get us 68 hundreds. Okay, so 68 hundreds is the same as 800 and 6,000. So we'll put the 800 right here and the 6,000 right up there. Okay, so we got one more multiplication to go through. All right, so there's that. And then uh, now we're going to multiply the thousand. So it's our last time we multiply. So 7 times 1,000 is going to get us 7,000. And then we go ahead and add on top that regrouped 6 right there. So we're going to add uh, the 7,000 plus 6,000. Okay, and since we're done, uh, we don't have any more numbers to multiply over here. We're going to go ahead and uh, place that in. It's uh, right down the thousands right there. So we get 13,846. Okay, so is this answer reasonable? Okay, well, remember our first estimate was 14,000 because we estimated 2,000 times 7. So since uh, 13,846 is close to 14,000, then we can say that it is reasonable. So 1,978 times 7 is equal to uh, 13,846. Okay, all right, you guys, take care. Hope you're having a great year, by the way.